Good morning, tree. Yeah, it was a Dallas. I think I got a little pinky finger. kind of easy cross-country loops I need to do some shoulder rehab so we're gonna hit this baby get warmed up first ride on the uh, Santa Cruz carbon bars too. So and my last uh, crash. I think I uh Mess my sunglasses up. One of the earpieces, so I got these new glasses on today. The rose colored lens. It actually worked out pretty good. Very vivid. And they change based on no light. Photochromatic or something like that. <laughs> Julio or something. So. I think I uh, have a little bit of AC joint pain. My left arm. That doesn't feel too bad. So I'm just gonna warm it. Keep using it. Not overdo it. Good morning tree. Or should I say good afternoon? Yeah, so that was I think I got a little pinky finger. I went for a test ride last night. After I mounted up these uh, Santa Cruz carbon bars. If you haven't seen that video, go back through the playlist where I trimmed them down and mounted them. Where I mounted them by default was bars were sitting way too low. They swept way back, so I had to rotate them forward, which I figured I'd have to do. Probably ever get this thing right without riding. I'm gonna point the front camera down just a little bit so you guys can see the trail instead of me I'm trying to pump my way through this instead of pedal. Small gear or big gear? Oh, big gear. 
stream if you need some help. <laughs> I had a fairly new specialized chain got caught between the the lowest gear on the cassette which is the big one 50 teeth and uh, the spokes we got it back on so when he got home he wants to take the limit screw on the low gear Sure, the other's not trying to go past go and check the chain link. say there is a certain feel to these bars that feels really good I don't feel that return kind of recoil really small recoil that you get with aluminum bar At some point, I'm gonna have to set this shot. I'll try all riding instead of jumping. It is tight right now. Some luggage. Guess I spun it out. I had no idea what was on the other side. That stack wood, and you can see one part was rotten and sticking up. So these obstacles, you do have to have a little bit of caution. That one ended up okay, but if they had it kicked in the spokes, 
yeah, buddy. It might have been funny. So, yeah. That's my public service announcement. All right, so we're back at Split. So that means we are done with this trail. See if there's any nutrition up there. Quick ride for sure. But uh kind of speedy other than the climbing. And my shoulder got warmed up a little bit, so it felt a little bit better, but yeah. Not bad. Alright guys. You know the drill. Like, share, subscribe, comment, thumb up, thumb down, thumb sideways, thumb all the way around. Just give me an indication that you're there. So, as we take this thing out, I'll give you some initial impressions of this, uh, these carbon bars from Santa Cruz that I cut from 800 to 780. Yeah. There's definitely a dampening characteristic, which I found the same characteristic going from the aluminum frame to the carbon frame. Very similar uh, feel on the handlebars. And I think it's real. My hands feel good. I'm a data kind of guy and usually I have to observe it myself before I kind of believe the hype. It's just my nature. It doesn't mean I'm pessimistic, but I have some healthy skepticism for sure. You know. Hey, it's just okay. Then once I find out a lion and get on board, I'm the biggest fan. So, I'm a big fan of these bars. We're back at the parking lot. Hopefully the shade is still down there where I parked. Shade. All right, guys. You know what to do. Till next time, skill up and ride.